Worst things first. Let's test the 500 watt motor. The hill in front of me is about 8 to 10 degrees. Before we start testing the Engway S6 electric scooter, let's see what we are dealing with. The full specs are listed below. There is no need to screw anything on the initial unboxing of this electric scooter, which is quite nice. It does come with a 2 amp fan charger. The display is a nice LED display. Of course, make sure you check your tire pressure, the front and the rear pump it to around 45 PSI. And in this video, you're gonna see many brake tests, hill tests, and I'm gonna be telling you the likes and dislikes of this electric scooter that was given to me by Geekbine to review. It is also linked below, so feel free to go and have a look at that. Let's see what the scooter can do. Oh, okay. Still holding speed. We'll speed test it now with GPS. That's in a few minutes. We're going 30. Not too bad considering we didn't actually get much of a run up. It feels a little bit better than my previous Kugo Kirin M4 Pro model. There's a couple of things that I noticed straight away about this electric scooter, so we're gonna have to address that. One cool thing actually is that it does have a little horn. The front light on the Engway S6 scooter also has four LEDs. It is very bright, so you wouldn't need an additional light there. It also has wraparound indicators and RGB lights underneath. But one thing, as soon as I start riding this electric scooter, this twist throttle is not only a strain on your wrist, because if, if you're riding something like this for, let's say about 20 minutes, your wrist is gonna eventually get strained because of the angle. You constantly have to adjust it. And let me show you something here that is, it's a little bit dangerous also. So of course, when you want to come to a stop, you want to hit your brake, your hand kind of slips along with the twist throttle. So you're pressing your brake and your hand is kind of also on the twist throttle as well. A little bit of a safety concern, nothing major. I wish it would have like a finger throttle like the Kugo Kirin M4 Pro. This scooter also comes with front and rear mechanical disc braking. It has a single latch for the folding mechanism, which I'll talk about. It does have foldable handlebars and a really large deck space, which is very nice to see. Suspension wise, suspension is a little bit better at the front. Okay, let's do a speed test. The thing about twist throttles is to get the maximum speed, sometimes you don't notice. If you have the throttle sit all the way down to get the full maximum speed. Okay, hand is fully twisted down. Let's see. Okay, we're on gear two. 30 kilometers now, 23, 25, 26, 37, 38, 39, 40. 40 kilometers an hour. Seems to be what it's displaying here and you can see the GPS stats also. The front suspension is obviously a similar to like a bicycle suspension. Again, better than the Kugo Kirin M4 Pro. Folding mechanism seems quite sturdy. It's similar because these do, this is their first electric scooter because they normally do electric bikes. The saddle is actually nice and comfortable and the electric scooter has kind of like this nice kind of matte finish. Feels kind of nice, it feels kind of premium even though it's not a premium electric scooter but it's quite decent. Handlebars also, you can collapse to whatever height you want along with the seat. But let me tell you one cool thing about this scooter. On my Kugo Kirin M4 Pro, it had tubed 10 inch tires. Well guess what, this is tubeless tubeless 10 inch tires which is very nice to see tubeless here tubeless on the back so if you got a puncture you should be able to fix it relatively quick compared to taking the tube out and just you know it's just a bit of a nightmare especially on my previous kugo kirin m4 pro model but the gears on this is actually really strange basically when you twist the throttle Let's see if I can show you here in camera. It goes up gradually, gear one, two, three. So you don't actually have control of the gears themselves, which is a little bit weird. Though I is also a bit of rattling coming from the scooter. I had to put a tie wrap on this area because that's rattling. 
one unfortunate thing is that there was a crack in the rear fender. I was afraid of it snapping off. So I had to kind of apply glue there and basically drill a hole and put a toy wrap to it to avoid it from snapping. So I hope they will improve the packaging as time goes on with these electric scooters. The semi off-road tires, which are nice and grippy, very good for going around corners. The range on this battery, this 48 volt battery, 15 amp hour battery should actually be quite similar to my Kugo Kirin M4 Pro. So you should get around 30 kilometers tops unless you're going as slow as possible. Torque alone is actually, it's quite slow to be honest. So if you're in a heavy traffic situation and you want to get ahead of the traffic, you're probably going to find it a bit difficult to do that because of the lack of torque. It's only a 500 watt motor. Yeah, very nice turn in the corners though. I absolutely, they're my favorite tires of all. I've tried full off-road tires, street tires, but these semi off-road tires are by far the best. We'll do a bit more of a hill test. Okay, we'll do a zero start. A little bit steep, you can't see it on camera, but it's quite steep, let's see. Not too bad, getting us up there. But it definitely won't get you up there in a hurry. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> push it, push it. Also about the display, when you are riding it, the voltage, you can't see the voltage whenever you want. So it's only really when you're accelerating, it seems to switch between the voltage and the mileage automatically. So I wish on the display you would have like more control. The brakes alone. Standard mechanical disc braking. Do the job. So I guess, who is this electric scooter for? It's pretty much for beginners or somebody who's looking to kind of step up from like a 25 kilometer hour scooter like a show me m365 i think the speed is actually quite decent the tires are tubeless which is amazing and so much more easier to fix it has the collapsible handlebars it has the collapsible seat the weight of it is quite generous the design of it actually looks really well the tires give fantastic grip the lighting is brilliant don't really have any complaints the only one thing would be of course that twist throttle and the value of this electric scooter it's linked below to check out the current prices sometimes there does be offers on all so the price that it's at can't be beaten for the kind of overall spec that you're getting it looks pretty nice as well and if you don't like the seat you can just take it off do whatever you want i think it's worth every penny in the meantime if you have enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next video